Hello everyone. Welcome back to our YouTube channel, where we explore the world of instrumentation and automation. Today, we are going to compare two popular types of temperature sensors, RTDs and thermistors. By the end of this video, you'll know which one is better for your specific needs. So, let's get started. Temperature measurement is crucial in almost all industries. Among the various types of temperature sensors, RTDs, or resistance temperature detectors, and thermistors are widely used. But what exactly are they, and how do they differ? Let's see. First, let's talk about RTDs. RTDs are made from pure metals, usually platinum. The most common types of RTDs are PT100 and PT1000. These sensors measure temperature by correlating the resistance of the RTD element with temperature. Platinum is preferred because of its stable resistance temperature relationship and ability to operate over a wide temperature range, typically from minus 200 degrees Celsius to plus 600 degrees Celsius. On the other hand, thermistors are made from ceramic or polymer materials. They come in two types, NTC, negative temperature coefficient, and PTC, positive temperature coefficient. NTC thermistors decrease in resistance as temperature increases, while PTC thermistors increase in resistance with rising temperature. Thermistors are known for their high sensitivity and fast response times but typically operate within a narrower temperature range, from minus 100 degrees Celsius to plus 300 degrees Celsius. Now, let's compare RTDs and thermistors side by side. 1. Material RTDs use pure metals like platinum, while thermistors use ceramics or polymers. 2. Temperature range RTDs cover a wide range, from minus 200 degrees Celsius to plus 600 degrees Celsius. Thermistors usually range from minus 100 degrees Celsius to plus 300 degrees Celsius. 3. Accuracy and stability RTDs offer high accuracy and stability over time. Thermistors provide higher sensitivity but can be less stable over wide ranges. 4. Response time RTDs have a slower response time due to their larger thermal mass. Thermistors have faster response times thanks to their smaller size. 5. Linearity RTDs exhibit a more linear response, making calibration easier. Thermistors have a nonlinear response, requiring more complex calibration. RTDs are ideal for applications needing high accuracy and stability, such as industrial processes, laboratory measurements, and medical devices. Thermistors can be perfect for applications needing high sensitivity and fast response, like automotive sensors, consumer electronics, and some HVAC systems. In conclusion, the choice between RTDs and thermistors depends on your specific needs. If you need high accuracy, stability, and a wide temperature range, RTDs are the way to go. If you require high sensitivity and fast response times in a narrower temperature range, thermistors are the better choice. Both have their strengths and ideal applications. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tech insights. Do you have any questions or topics you want us to cover? Drop them in the comments below. See you next time.